Been ready to lock this place down. No joke, I just grow a beer. In real life, no joke, I, I grow a beer. Hey guys, it's Reese here again. I call those turtles from our pond. I wasn't gonna cry. Oh! Can I help you? I need to feed the animals. Get out. I need you to open the gate. You quitting? Okay. Kitty Hawk's on break right now. Have you ever wondered what goes on at your house at night? Sometimes a lot more than you think. Two or three years ago, there was an individual being chased by the police through two counties, and he ended up in our driveway in the middle of the night. He drove down this driveway and parked over here by our shop. The only way we knew he'd been here is there were some cigarette butts out there, and we did have video cameras. We've always been concerned about our safety, especially as we're getting older. So today, today we're going to be installing a security gate, uh, just a deterrent for uh, anyone coming down a driveway that's not wanted. And also helps in uh, the farming application to keep, make sure the uh, animals don't get out. And in the same time, we're going to be adding security where we can open and close the gate by remote control. As my husband said, today I'm going to be putting up a automatic gate opener that a company by the name of Topin sent to us. And uh, we're grateful for them because security is our priority for our family and our animals. Okay, what we're doing today is unpacking the uh, AD8S by Topin's uh, solar gate opener. It's uh, relatively simple and good directions. So I'm gonna be checking to make sure that everything is here. Okay, that's one adapter, two gate opener actuators, box of hardware here, control box, Uh, solar charge controller. That's important because we're going to be hooking this up to two 12 volt batteries for 24 volts. Our extension cord that hooks the primary to the slave gate opener. And two solar panels. As you can see, we're trying to install the farm gates so that we can put our automatic gate opener on. As my husband said, Topins sends you out a box complete with everything except for the batteries. So you need to make sure that you have two 12 volt batteries on hand and or a 24 volt sealed lead acid battery. Topins offers a wide application for all types of gates. So these can be used on all gates. 
They also have a powerful motor. They come solar powered if you need them. You can have them wired, of course. There's smartphone control. It's easy installation and it works so quietly once installed. My husband's using C-clamps to anchor down the actuators so that he can line up where the screw or bolt holes need to go and they won't slip. And of course, it's important to make sure that the actuator is level. Topins was founded in 1998 and one of the most renowned and trusted brands in the gate automation industry. So go over to their website and check out a Topins gate for you. That drop down some. <clears throat> Okay, hold it. Topins offers awesome customer support. They put the customer first and they dedicate themselves into making gates smarter, safer, and easier to use and install for consumer skills at all levels. And with a variety of gate openers, Topins is there to provide your family with the safety you need. Now he's got it set upside down initially so that he can set the stop. Okay. I take it off now. Yeah, it needs to come off. It's in the way. We've mounted the control box and the solar charge controller to this board. We'll go ahead and plug the holes and paint it after we get this all up. But we also purchased a battery box for our batteries to go in and it'll be mounted there as well. Positive, Positive. goes to the back, to the box. Let me get the instructions. So you're going to connect the positive wire from here to... No. Kitty, nope. So your positive and negative goes... Positive and negative to one, one each battery. Positive. Negative. Okay. So this is a 24 positive. volt system. So we're taking two 12, two, uh, 12 volt lead acid, fully enclosed rechargeable batteries and running them negative to positive, positive to negative that way. So we have 24 volts. I'm going to try it with the drill first. And I make sure my fingers ain't under that before you tighten them down. Yeah, let me turn this this way. Just hold it. Let, let go of the clamp. Wait a minute. Okay. Is it tightening? Yeah. I'm just going slow so it doesn't slip. More. That's good. Right here. I'd rather have it out where you can't see it. I can't screw it though. I heard that before. I'm going to try to do it right now. 
Yeah, that goes that to that down there. This is the, the battery. Oh, I see. Okay. Load, battery, yeah. solar. Okay. So now this has to connect to this. This goes here. Yeah. Male, female. So you got red. No, maybe this one. Why is these two down here? What? What? Does it go yellow to yellow? Is yeah, I would red? expect. Yeah. You can probably pull it off. Those screws aren't very long. I'll put a long screw in to hold it up. So we're using option three, which is to use the batteries as a power source and only use the solar panel to charge the batteries. So we're running the cables, connecting the cables to the solar charge controller. Two thousand years later. For instructions. <laughs> so here we use these uh, driveway strips that we bought from Vivor because we weren't about to put a big trench down our blacktop driveway, which would have cost us more to repair than it would have been to have put in the purchase the gates and everything else so we just decided to go this route um, we're going to put run the pipe in the ground right now the wires ran through the pipe and it'll go up the post into pipe as well Here we have uh, all our wires ran and inserted, the gates hooked up, and so it should just be an easy thing of setting it and making sure that everything is correct and, and then adjusting and setting the remotes. It wasn't as easy as we thought it would be because we're older and, you know, we're not electricians, but we figured it out. I was excited over that, that we figured it out. And I think anyone can do this. You know, Kitty Hawk, I think we ought to get us one of those Topo Gatos so we can go fishing. Kitty Hawk gonna quit anyway, I think. We have the electrical all connected. And my husband's just gonna connect the battery and then we're going to make some adjustments to the gate. It does like that. If it goes too far, stop it. Well, we've got the Topin gate installed. It was a quite simple installation. Follow the directions. Works like butter. And sadly, Kitty Hawk has retired to mousing and I'm gonna go fishing. So thank you, <laughs> Topin. I just wanna thank the good people's uh, Topins for um, letting us showcase their product in our video today. If you haven't checked them out, please go over to their website and check them out. I'll leave a link in the comment section below or in the description below. And please, if you've liked this content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, 
leave a comment below and turn on the notification bell. It really does help our channel. And we thank you for watching.